Welcome to the Literacy Circus, second grade, week 23. Math week 23. This week, we're going to learn about measurement, length and perimeter. So here we have three rulers. And on this first ruler, the red strip goes out to five and a quarter inches. So these little marks here are, they represent quarter inches. So at this first mark here, it represents one quarter inch. And at this second mark here, it represents a half an inch. At this mark, it represents another quarter, which makes it three quarters because you have one quarter here, two quarters here, and three quarters here. So two fourths and one half is about is the same. But once you get here and you have three quarters, then the next quarter over is four quarters, which is a whole, and it takes you to an inch. So remember, when you see this small space, then you know it's one quarter. When you see it skip over to the next, which is halfway between one whole number and another whole number, it's a half. Like here, where this red stripe comes all the way down past the one and over to the next slash between the one and the two, which makes it a half because it's halfway between the one and the two. Or you may see a ruler that just has lines that are directly next to or on top of numbers, whole numbers. Well, you know wherever that stripe comes to, it is that number that it lands on, which here it is three. So this measurement of this red stripe would be three inches. This measurement of this red stripe would be one and a half inches. And this measurement of this red stripe would be five and one quarters inch. Our next uh, topic or set of length and perimeter problems will be these triangles. So if you have any shape like a triangle or a square and it has these measurements on each side, that tells you what each how long each side really is so this side is five inches this side is three inches and this side is four inches so to find out the perimeter perimeter or the length of this entire triangle you can't lay it out flat but you can add all of the measurements together to get the total measurement of the triangle so we did this below. We added four inches plus three inches plus five inches. And to make it even easier for you, I added one, two, three, four tick marks next to the four. I added one, two, three tick marks next to the three and one, two, three, four, five tick marks next to the five. When we add them all up, we get 12. So the perimeter or the length of this triangle is 12 inches because each side equaled a different amount of inches to give you the total number of inches in all. This triangle measures 4 feet, 5 feet, and then another 5 feet across the top. So we did the same thing here. We're going to add each of the sides to get the entire perimeter for the triangle. 4 plus 5 plus 5 equals 14 feet. So the perimeter of this triangle is 14 feet. Then our last one had equal sides. So we had to add each equal side to get our final answer. So each side equals 3 meters. 3 meters. 3 meters. So we add each of the threes together and we get nine meters. So the perimeter of this triangle is nine meters. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I have included links in the section below of worksheets that are identical to the problems that I've solved here today. I hope you subscribe and I hope you have a great week. Goodbye.